Hi, I'm Prasad and uh, I'm an advocate working for High Court of Hyderabad most of the time. Now, today I'm going to explain about what are the steps that are taken in a criminal trial. What are the three important steps in a criminal trial? As already, I stated in one of my videos that the, simple, the three simple steps for a civil trial or a criminal trial are uh, case, evidence and arguments. They are the three simple steps. But how evidence is taken in a criminal trial is what I'm going to explain right now. When a criminal case is launched in the police station, the criminal case can be launched in the, before the magistrate also, which is called a private complaint, where you have the burden to bring forward the, the witnesses and prove your case. You can also, and police complaint is a complaint where you just go and give a complaint and state will deliver the responsibility of uh, giving you a remedy by doing investigation. So when you give a complaint, police investigates. So, and after investigation, they can file a positive report or a negative report. Positive report is called the charge sheet. Negative report is called the closure report or the final report, which says that crime was not committed. And charge sheet says that crime was committed. So now for this, police obtains statements from different kinds of people. And they create a chain of story because crime is a story. So police have to create entire chain of the story and uh, they will uh, link up uh, all the links and uh, then they will prepare the charge sheet and if you read a charge sheet it appears uh, to be a script because whenever you give a complaint also it is a simple story an event so that event has to be proved that event has to be constructed if it is truth police should construct that event by gathering the evidence by way of statements from the people so they approach uh, the witnesses, they are called the witnesses and uh, the, they, they obtain statements from the witnesses in the presence of two witnesses. So they are called panchas. So all these statements are reduced into a report. So that is called the charge sheet. Now the job of the police ends by filing the charge sheet in the court. So police doesn't uh, contest the case till the end. They may be... Uh, prosecuting the case but their job ends basically their job ends when they file the charge sheet or a final report final report is a negative report closure report is a negative report which is also called final report it's basically a closure report which is a negative report so positive report is a charge sheet so once charge sheet is uh, filed in the court now trial starts now court will examine the complaint, court will examine the FIR, court will examine the charge sheet and court again can come to a conclusion that there is no offence made out. So police is not everything in a criminal case. So magistrate if he based, based on all these complaints, uh, FIR uh, and charge sheet police can come to a conclusion, uh, sorry magistrate can come to a conclusion and then he can frame the charges. So charges are framed. So after charges, trial starts. Then you can file a discharge petition also. Then uh, the process, the procedure is same. From there, the procedure is same. Uh, a little bit difference uh, because in a criminal trial, uh, um, the burden will be more on the prosecution to prove that the accused uh, committed the offence, rather than in a civil trial, it is also equally. Uh, more on the um, uh, defense side. The problem with uh, uh, criminal case is you have to bring in lot of evidence. You have to prove beyond reasonable doubt as I already as already informed you. But what is a reasonable doubt and what is proving beyond doubt and what is proving beyond reasonable doubt is beyond doubt is 100%. Reasonable doubt is and it is very difficult to prove beyond uh, beyond doubt. Be only a machine can prove beyond doubt. Human beings cannot uh, prove beyond doubt. There could be a reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt means any prudent man with common sense should understand that, can understand that it is proved. Uh, for example, uh, I will give you an example for a criminal trial. Um, in a criminal trial, if it is proved that uh, prosecution, that is the police, um, proves the date of birth by way of a bona fide certificate. Imagine they are proving the date of birth of a person, of a prosecution uh, complainant or XYZ. 
by way of a date of birth of a bona fide certificate. Now, there is no need for police to prove it through the birth certificate also. When the principal of the school is examined and through the bona fide certificate is brought as a documentary evidence and, no, and an accused did not dispute the bona fide certificate, either in the cross-examination or by advancing any other documentary evidence, then it is proved by reasonable doubt, beyond reasonable doubt. So, hope I think you understood what uh, the meaning of what is the meaning of uh, proving beyond reasonable doubt. So, um, it's like that. So, if if it is, it will be proved beyond reasonable doubt, and uh, accused will not. What I should say in a, in a criminal case. Can always uh, accused has always the power to attack uh, uh, the complainant by different forms and uh, different methods of cross examination, but it is more burden on the prosecution to prove beyond reasonable doubt. So hope I think uh, I have clarified about what a reasonable doubt is all about. And once all the CD, all the list witnesses in the charge sheet, the witnesses in the uh, charge sheet are called the list witnesses, and all the witnesses can be examined or Sometimes they are not examined. It all depends on the uh, court to do that exercise. So then you can cross-examine all those witnesses. And you, know, you can also bring your witnesses if, if you think that there are there is a case for you in, when, in a criminal case. And then uh, sub arguments are submitted. So here the counter is nothing. In, in a civil case, it is called counter or a written statement or a written version, etc., etc. But in a criminal case, the counter is nothing but the police report. Hope you understand the and um, and in a civil case, there are the uh, the questions are called issues, and in a criminal case, they are called charges. It is similar, but the language is quite different. Uh, there is no need to go more into uh, the legal terminology because law is such an ocean. I would say uh, that uh, nobody can say I know the law, even. Uh, uh, I would say even sometimes High Court also makes mistakes. That is why there is the presence of the Supreme Court in this world. Okay, hope uh, I am clear. Uh, the three steps of a criminal trial is uh, uh, up to one step is up to finding of the charge sheet. The second step is evidence. The third step is uh, arguments. Hope I am clear. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.